Northeast Ohio is home to tons of talented people. In honor of Black History Month, we've been introducing you to a unique person in the black community each Friday here on What's New. In this week's Blacklight series, Kira Cotton introduces us to Jay Wallace. He's a graphic designer for our Cleveland Cavaliers. Jay Wallace may not be a name you recognize, but you're probably familiar with his work. Regular Cavs branded apparel like t-shirts, hats, you know, shooting shirts, basically anything that fans wear and players wear, there's a good chance that I was a part of it. Wallace is a graphic designer for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and his primary focus is apparel. Growing up, Wallace says he was always good at drawing, but never realized it could become a career. Just being African American in, in the arts, like we, we don't always necessarily know how to nurture that. What does your adult life look like? Right drawing and painting. Despite the uncertainty surrounding a creative career path, Wallace knew that he wanted to pursue the one thing he was passionate about. So, with his mother's blessing, he left Cleveland to study illustration at the Columbus College of Art and Design. After earning his fine arts degree, Wallace returned home, ready to jumpstart his career. To get the ball rolling, he started posting his work on social media. It wasn't like, oh my goodness, like I'm going to grab the attention of a notable, you know, person from this. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was really just, just putting it out there. His designs caught the eyes of important people, helping him secure jobs with the Cleveland Browns, Columbus Crew, and now the Cavaliers. I've been blessed to work for the teams that I grew up watching. How much more awesome can you get than that? How about seeing your work in the middle of downtown Cleveland? Wallace teamed up with Daniel Arsham to bring the For the Love, For the Land banner on the Sherwin-Williams building to life. It just looked way better than what it did on my computer. Jay Wallace loves Cleveland. And through his work, he hopes to sketch his way into the city's history, one design at a time. Coming out of a pandemic, I'm pretty sure every city is going to be in some type of resurgence or whatever. And I just want to be a part of that. And while Jay is a self-proclaimed ambassador for Cleveland, he does aspire to use his talents out of state and with national brands. Back to you guys. All right, Kiara, thank you so much. I think these have been great. I love these stories. Jay, you've seen the new billboard, right? Yes. I, th I think that among all of his work, and it's all great, I love that. I think there's, there's a lot of thought obviously went into that. It looks beautiful on that wall. Mm -hmm. What a talented guy. Right, and so graphic arts is such a, a unique kind of a uh, part of the spectrum of mm -hmm. art because you have to take all of your art and creativity, but custom tailor it to a company and an order or, or what is being you know kind of laid in front of you. So there's not tons of room to be the artist and do your own expression, but it's amazing how you can still get that in there. And, and we all love it. That's the cool part. He does it, and he does it very well. He does. Uh, speaking